you try to do multiple things at once, so you fail to master them. But what does your best version do? He always picks one thing to focus on, that way he can master it. After that, he picks another thing to focus on and does the bare minimum to keep that skill. Be more like your best version. Alright, so basically when you try to do basically everything, you will be mediocre at them, at best, right? If you have shit ton of things, you cannot focus on multiple things at once, right? <laughs> if you want to be the best at something, you have to just do that thing, right? You have to focus on it, right? You cannot do shit ton of other things that are insignificant to your goals, right? Sure, you might enjoy, like, I don't know what, uh, you want to learn how to sing, right? Or I don't know, something. for example, you want to be, you know, just like David Goggins, you want to do some crazy shit, you know, run for days, but you also want to do bodybuilding, right? You really have to pick which one you want to focus on, right? Because you can do both, right? When you want to build muscle, you need to limit the amount of cardio you do, right? Still, you should do some cardio, but you have to limit it, right? To maximize muscle growth. And if you want to be a good runner, you, do, you just cannot be that heavy, you know? You cannot have that, shit, that amount of muscle you have, right? To do bodybuilding, right? So you cannot do both. You actually want to, you actually need to pick one, and also focus-wise, you ca you will be distracted when you do multiple things, right? You want to focus on one thing, you know, and when you focus on that thing, you only think about that thing, right? And ideas just pop up in your mind, and it will be way easier to do those things, right? Like I do self-improvement, right? So. I do some uh, working out, you know, I do some meditation, I do some, I don't know what, uh, recording, right? And it works for me, right? I can do multiple things, because they kinda align, right? If you want to make good videos, you need to have good mental health, right? You need to have discipline, right, that you get from working out. You can't just be a normal guy when you want to do this shit, right? You have to stand out, so you need to do other things to make the videos better, right? So. The things I do work for me, right? The self-improvement and recording videos for you to work for me. For you it might be something else, you know, you might have to do like 12 hours of work just to get some results for your business, right? Or I don't know what. Or you want to do bodybuilding only and make that your business, right? The working out. So it, it extremely depends on what you want to achieve in life, right? So. Uh, the only advice I have here is just do one thing, you know, or a few things that matter the most to you and the only way you can find that is by just journaling, you know, do shit ton of journaling, think about what you actually want to do in life and that way you can pick what is best for you, you know, what you're good at, what you enjoy doing. I enjoy recording, right? But there's one thing that I hate. Literally, I hate it. Getting out of my room and getting here. And getting this shit set up so that I can record the videos. The actual process of recording I enjoy, but getting here, I I hate it. And sometimes that's just the only reason that I don't record videos, you know, and and then I, then I have nothing to upload, right? So, sure, there might be some barriers, you know, some obstacles you have to overcome in order to do the things you enjoy, but... Everything is everything is difficult in some way, right? This is fucking easy, but I have to. I need to have the life experience to talk about shit, right? So it's not that simple as you might think, you know, just talking shit uh, in front of camera. But uh, yeah, the actual process of recording is fucking easy, right? I can just sit here and talk about shit. But behind the camera, I need to do all the all the things, you know. Editing is awful. I actually enjoy editing, but the process of getting into the flow of editing is just terrible, right? So, yeah, you just have to pick a few things you want to focus on and focus on them, right? And, yeah, you need to journal, shit ton of journaling, right? Think about what you want to achieve in life and then go for it. Just focus on that and don't get distracted with different kind of shit, right? Because and the distraction just happens mostly because you watch some kind of YouTube videos, right? You watch, I don't know, some bodybuilding motivation, you know, you watch some, so like, now you want to be a bodybuilder, then you watch David Goggins motivation, you want to run for fucking 10 hours. You cannot do both, right? 
really good to think and when you want to watch some motivational shit watch the motivational videos about the topic you are interested in I never actually enjoyed running I'm more of a bodybuilder guy so I watch motivational about, about bodybuilding you know uh, building an audience right following something like that and then I just go and work right today uh, what's interesting I actually did not watch any motivational videos yet it's 11 30 in the morning right and I actually have the uh, blog of work uh, from uh, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. I'm actually recording this after the blog of work uh, I changed things up I changed things up a bit but it worked out anyway right so I'm here I'm recording this shit sometimes you just cannot stick to the timetable right and you have to do what you uh, actually feel more like doing but it shouldn't be you know every single day sometimes you can skip things and change the order of them but I still manage <clears throat> I still manage to get 100% of my checklist so I'm good right uh, timetable is just so that you know when you're supposed to do what you basically start on self-improvement you basically make a timetable and then you put things uh, what, what things you want to do at what time right and it's just easier for you to stick to the uh, habits you know and the checklist and all that uh, I can change things up a bit because I'm like almost two years into self-improvement so yeah just make sure you don't do everything you know you feel like doing just do a few things that you enjoy doing you want to do you know and it'll get you where you want to be and you should be good so yeah hope this video helped you if you did make sure you uh, like you know if you, if you like this uh, subscribe to join our community of people just like you that want to improve and remember that you're still improving as long as